What's going on everyone? My name's Dean, or as you know me, Twisty. Welcome to the Twisty Test Championship. This is day four between England and Bangladesh after England getting the wicket off the final ball of the day's play on day three to knock Bangladesh over with a lead of 256. So England will require 257 for victory as Rory Burns hits a boundary here to finish off the opening over. It's four without loss. Dom Sibley at the other end will be on strike now. As Abu Jayad is bowling the second over here. And, oh, a big shout on the pads. And the finger goes up. So not an ideal start for England, but the perfect start for Bangladesh. Getting an early breakthrough wicket here. And this is going to be sent upstairs here by Dom Sibley. So the original decision being out, all it needs to do is clip the stumps impact in line and wickets is going to be missing so this will actually be overturned from the original call which means that Sibley will get another life England will get another life and Bangladesh will need to get that wicket again oh gee that's somehow gone through him yep. meanwhile Rory Burns at the other end is looking reasonably comfortable 12 from 13 with a boundary there that's his uh his third boundary of the inning so far. He's looking yep. quite confident with bat in hand, whipping this one away again to the square boundary for another four. So far, it has been a good start from him. Yep. Now through the offside. That'll be four again. Another boundary. And you'd expect we're almost going to see a result today, you'd imagine. There's, oh, there was a bit of bat in that. Oh, gee, the keeper maybe... If he took it, obviously would have been out, but um, we expect to see a result today, obviously with uh, 250 on the board, 10 wickets in hand, either one way or the other. You would imagine that that's going to happen in the next 90 overs. It's just who's going to get there first. Bangladesh, there's the first wicket. There'll be no reviewing this time with an edge through to the keep up. See the clear deviation, Ibadat Hussain gets it and it is Sibley who, after getting away with an LBW shared earlier on, has departed for just four runs. It's 39 for one. Joe Denley now joins Rory Burns at the crease, and he's probably been one of England's best batsmen in this tournament so far, Joe Denley. And this has been a standout performance from Rory Burns as well as he edges one through the slips to move to 45. But, uh, yeah, Joe Denley has just been one of their, their better batsmen who's been consistent, consistently getting half centuries with that going on to really make a large score. If they can get another 50 out of him today, that would be great. Rory Burns on 49 at the other end. Big inclusion back into the side this week. Uh, has really pushed forward here for England and, and given them a good start where, once again, uh, they, they, you know, make a decent opening stand and 73 for one as Rory Burns brings up his 59 fours in it. Edged and taken. So Burns, just after making the 50, is going to have to go. Looked like he was well and truly on his way. He'd been very confident, hit nine fours prior to the half century, and then just maybe driving it one too many, caused himself... To edge it through to the keeper now, Root and Denley. So big work for the skipper to do. England need uh, a further 150, 167 actually, or 165 for victory. Eight wickets in the shed. But at 92, 96 for two, it has been uh, one of the better starts from them that we've seen in this tournament. And they really love to go in from this position to win this test match. 96 for two at the end of that opening session. 160 for England to win. Eight wickets in hand as Bangladesh look to push forward for themselves as that one just balloons a little bit off the bat of Denley. Not having someone under the, the hood there. Maybe a little bit costly as Denley sweeps this one away. They should pick up three. Going to be re relatively close at the bowler's end but Denley getting home quite safely. 
Oh, massive, massive shout. Not out, says the umpire. Maybe just got his foot outside the line. Not too sure. Again, no review seen. So, not out. Decision remains. Denley hits a through mid wicket for a couple. And he'll bring up his very own half century. So, we spoke about how he was having a good series. Joe Denley, that's 50 for him. Six boundaries throughout. Oh, that should be out, though. Yep. A little inside edge onto the pad. The keeper getting up to the ball pretty quickly. And again, the second wicket we've seen fall just after making a milestone. First it was Burns out for 51. Now Denley out for 52. England 117 for three. Seven wickets in hand. With uh, obviously Joe Root now and, and Ben Stokes. Oh, gee, that's a tight single. Uh, really needing to stem the flow here. They've put on already uh, about uh, 24 between them. Stokes 13 from 19. Yet to find the boundary as yet. As Joe Root really with a top edge here. Finds the rope now over everybody's head. Singling close towards those final 100 runs. Near 105 runs away from victory as Root chops it on. England lose their fourth. The skipper goes. Have a look at that one. Really disappointing for the English skipper. Joe Root goes and, well, Bangladesh back in the game now. Six wickets to go, 105 required. Stokes and Pope now. You know Ben Stokes loves to clutch up for England. Can he keep enough batsmen in the shed with him? To go all the way for victory here. Or he himself falter under the pressure. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, shot. Straight down the ground for four. Lovely there from Stokes. Nearly putting the pressure right back on the Bangladesh bowlers. But they'll know. If he just mistimes one of these, all of a sudden they can probably get the wicket. Yes. Oh, and an inside edge now from Pope. At the other end's going to find the boundary rope. England need 91 more runs for victory. Gee, that's just gone over the top of leg stump. Wasn't by much. Certainly things could have been very different. Had that one chopped on. So next in line is Joss Butler. Followed by Joffre Archer, then Stuart Broad. So England... Really would want to get it done with these two. Or at least do the bulk of the scoring. Before you really start to put some pressure on the lower order. Ben Stokes finds the boundary again. England require 80 for victory now. And it's Stokes who looks like the most likely. Happy to see that one through to the keeper. That'll be the end of... Uh... No, not the end of the second session. I thought it might have been, but... Uh... Stokes continues to find the boundary over mid on this time. Really just taking on the spinners with ease. And that will take us to the end of the second session of play today. So it sets it up for a massive final session here. There will be 30 more overs to go today. England need a further 67 runs for victory. Bangladesh needs six wickets. It would be an almighty collapse if they were able to pull it off. But it's possible. Although Ben Stokes has other ideas. Finds a boundary off the first ball of the final session. Moves to 45. Ooh, big shout. Did it keep low enough or was it going too high? Umpire says not out. No review used. Stokes survives. That's pretty close. doing from the umpire there lots of in swing though certainly was looking dangerous impact was given as outside off but the wickets were going on to hit so in swing dangerous there from Abu Jayed oh he's got it through him he's got straight through him have a look at this 
It's both swung in and nipped a little bit off the seam. Goes in between bat and pad. And a huge wicket for Bangladesh. Ollie Pope goes for England. Joss Butler now to the crease. They still need 60 runs for victory. Stokes and Butler, can they get it done? Oh, geez, Stokes looks good. Gets that towards the boundary again. Will they pick up two or three? Now they'll settle for two. 200 up for England. 57 more to win. It's Ben Stokes here. Hits a little single down towards. It's like a wide mid on. Gets a uh, half century for his troubles. Oh, gone again. Completely bamboozled Joss Butler there. Just the turn was good enough. To beat the bat. Huge deviation off the pitch. Hits the outside of the off stump. Butler out for four. England 204 for six. The tail is in. Joffre Archer with Ben Stokes. 51 to go. And Stokes maybe wants to do this quickly. Powerfully driven through the covers for four. One thing with Stokes' shots is he does give it a bit of air. Maybe. That gives an opportunity to Bangladesh if they get their fields right. Oh, goes again and inside edge. Not taken by the keeper and not chopped on either. It's somehow missed everything. As they've got 37 more to go. This will be more runs for Stokes. It'll be four of them. 33 to go. Oh, inside edge and taken for Stokes. Gee, the tension was really building. Stokes was starting to get on top of the bowlers. And he maybe just played one shot too many. Hits it onto his pad and the keeper... Almost ran through Ben Stokes to take that catch. Stokes out for 64. Unable to see England over the line. 227 for 7. Stuart Broad now. Makes his way to the middle. They need 30 runs. And they've got three wickets in hand. Things are happening quickly now. Broad away. First ball for a single. Archer, what's he on? 11. Oh, chopped on! So another wicket falls. England need 24 to win, but they've only got two wickets remaining. Joffre Archer chopping this on to the stumps. And it's now Anderson and Broad. They almost somehow pulled off a miracle victory against the Irish. Can they hold on today? They've got two wickets in hand here, so it's Jack Leach next in. Anderson and Broad, can they survive and get these 22 more runs? Almost a little mix up there. They settled for two in the end, or three actually. 19 to go. Yes. And Broad punching it through the offside. That's four. 15 runs for victory. Still two wickets in hand. Oh, big shout. Was there any bat on it? Ooh, umpire says not out to both. They survive. And again, this time there was bat. The thigh guard saves him from going through to the keeper. And the chance is starting to come now for Bangladesh. England need 11 for victory. 79 overs gone. We're 10 runs from an English victory. We're four deliveries from a new ball. This will be two. Makes it eight to win. Oh, so close. Still eight to go. Anderson down the ground. No mid off. So they wanted the drive. And he happily picks up two. Maybe three. No. Settle for two. Six to win. Now that's away again. Not sure what the field is for Bangladesh right now. They really got to keep it in tight and stop any scoring. It's four to win. Three to win. Now the field is a ring field. And oh, there's a miss field. Allows a single. Anderson will keep strike. 12 from 18. There's an edge. Oh, it doesn't, Gary. 
It just drops short. Now yeah, a good forward defence. Still two to win for England. Two wickets for Bangladesh. Yes, yes. Oh, gets it away. They want one. Oh, and it beats the fielder with a misfield. It'll be two, and England will win the test match. By two wickets, they keep themselves alive in the TTC. Absolutely huge scenes here at Lords. 257 for eight. Broad and Anderson, 13 and 14 between them. Stokes, 64. Uh, Burns with a 51, and 52 from Joe Denley was big as well. In the wickets column for Bangladesh, it was Abu Jayed, 4 for 69. Tajul Islam, 2 for 65. But in the end, England were too strong. They were able to get home by two wickets. Stuart Broad didn't quite hit the winning runs, but he was out there in the middle at the end. He was the player of the game. Uh, what did he have? He had six wickets to his name and a number of runs. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.